What's up? This is his lordship hanging out. You know? Look at that view. You probably can't see it, but it's amazing. The view behind me. Anyway, just checking in, you know, I was on a panel and discussing things, you know, people, they hear the truth and they run. It's, you know, the truth it can be very, you know, reality can be very scary. Let me see. I think you can see that view behind me a little bit. You know, we got professional uh, stalkers out there that know how to find your location. So, you know, I'm just going to uh, give you a sneak peek of the view. It's really amazing, you know. Yeah, this is just a, a sidewalk, but if you get tired of walking out up the hill, I guess they got a little rest stop where you can have a seat before you uh, continue with your walk, you know. And then some of us have, you know, modern conveniences, you know, because it's 2020. You know, I like to spare the air. I don't like to use fossil fuels, but... You know, people think I'm crazy because I don't like to unnecessarily burn fossil fuels. You know, so my car is nearby, but if I'm just going to get a burrito or a drink or, you know, something like that, I don't need to hop in the car unnecessarily and add to um, traffic. You see what I'm saying? So, right now I'm just chilling on this mountain. And, uh, you know, Frankie Beverly, stay over that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, a few famous people. I could throw a rock at their house right now. I could probably throw a rock at Frankie Beverly and his wife's house, you know. But anyway, yeah, you know, people dislike totally 5150 insane. I don't know what, what it is. I don't know what got into them. You know, and you know, some people ain't cut out for this stuff. You just not. Don't do it. You know, just stay away from this type of thing. You get too, too emotionally involved, you know. Yeah, is that a mansion back there? I think so. Yeah. Luckily, I'm on public property in a public space. And I don't have to worry too much. But, you know, one time this house behind me had a lemonade sale. Two beautiful little kids selling lemonade. Their father wanted to teach them entrepreneurship. And even though they have a big old house, I don't know if they're renting. I don't know if they own it. I don't know anything. But I wanted to help the kids learn about capitalism. So I pulled over and bought some lemonade, you know. Because that's American, you know, and people are voting right now. And, you know, if you want to look like the good guy, don't try to beat up a person for making the choices that they make. Because we're in America, you can't vote for who you want to vote for. And if your candidate wins, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know if this mic is loud enough. I'm thinking about cutting this recording and trying again later. But like I said, uh, yeah, if you got to force someone to vote, vote the way you want them to vote. And what else? Like, uh, you know, all this pressure. Like, if somebody's evil, you shouldn't have to work so hard to prove that that person is evil. It shouldn't cost $900 million to say this guy's an asshole. It should, be, it should be obvious. That's all I'm saying. And if it ain't obvious, then you have to figure out what you find acceptable and unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to sign out here because it doesn't look like the audio is that loud. I'll have to boost the audio at post-production. But anyway, peace and hair grease. Lordship, out. <laughs>